Hey YouTube, everybody, how are you? There's a certain, I was just thinking, there's so many things to do. And again and again and again and again. It all comes back to the feet. So, uh, this mare is a client's mare. Really nice mare, kind of fun to ride. Doesn't get rode a ton, maybe, well, once a week for the most part. Um, and, and I guess I just can't beat home. I kind of, no matter what you do, it always comes back to those basics. Forwards and backwards, hind quarters left, hind quarters right, front quarters right, front quarters left. So, and then energy in that, being light off my legs. So I talk about that again and again, and I do it so much because sometimes we need to see it over and over and over. And maybe I say a little different piece or maybe you hear a different piece. I was just talking to one of my really good students in Ireland, Alessia Pagani, and uh, she had kind of a troubled horse that uh, kind of brought me back to the first time I met her. And I had this horse where I knew if I roped him, he, he would probably go through the fence or over the fence. So I had to get to my lead rope where I could get him used to it and then close my lead rope. Well, we did a video on that yesterday. So if you would, maybe you could go back and check that out through there. If you have questions and have trouble finding them, you can always ask in the comments. Um, and I'm happy to kind of find it for you because I know roughly what it is. But as it gets longer and longer list of videos here, they get harder and harder to find for some of those questions. But today I know we talked a little bit about uh, trying to talk a little more about saddles and the Makate and the snaffle bit. And, um, I always like a leather chin strap. That's kind of one that we haven't talked about. And a lot of times a chain, um, when a chain comes tight, you've got all those links and it might kind of grab some hairs or pinch and pull some of those hairs out. And that, that's not the most pleasant. And again, if the horse isn't pleasant, softness comes when the horse is relaxed and trusting and believing. When it's scared, when it's tense, when it's tight, it's not gonna be soft. Um, and I'm not looking for a robot, I'm looking for a horse I'll feel. Now, for years, when I tuck my McCarty in, for years I would go down up. And I still kind of have that problem. And oh, towards the end uh, of Ray, Ray Hunt, when I saw him, I noticed it different and I was observant enough. I don't know how many people noticed it different. But I said, right, why did you go from the top down? And he said, well, it took me 40 years and a broken leg to figure that out. I'm kind of glad you asked. But when you go from down up, there's a bit of a bind. And you can pull it, but it's tight. Ooh, that's a good shoulder stretch pull. Well, if I come off that right side and there's a bind and it bends my horse and my horse is light, they might kind of wind up stepping over on top of me because it might pull them off. Balance there and then they step on me. Where, you know, I had a friend and he, he said, you know, um, if I come off, I want to get a hold of my horse. And I, I can understand that. But for me now, well, I'm in an arena, so I don't have to walk 40 miles from home when it's 120 degrees outside. That might be troublesome if there's not enough water. So I wouldn't want it to bind there if I was maybe out there. But it's nice because it's a conscious decision, and I always like those conscious decisions to make me think. So I have my phone looking for my phone here my phone's there <laughs> so if I got hurt I could maybe manage to get to my phone and not need to ride my horse that far um, so yeah that's just another little piece in there um, I don't like a lot of times you'll see people do this head stall tight well when that head stalls tight and I put a wrinkle in there I'm not even putting a wrinkle in there and you see she's getting soft well, if I always have a wrinkle in there, I'm kind of dulling her up to my hands, getting her soft. So I'd like that up to the top of her mouth. 
but if it's not sometimes maybe a horse might want to get their tongue over it so sometimes maybe a little bit i tighten it to make it more difficult to get their tongue over it but if they get their tongue over it then it's more difficult to get back under sometimes i'll loosen it a little these are all guidelines mostly you know don't do what i say practice ask questions you know don't be afraid to explore that's the biggest thing and we talk again and again and again and again and you know for me buck was just man i still think his horses are some of the nicest horses i've ever seen ray had more feel than anybody i've seen and he had done so much with so little but buck's horses man they are so nice so i encourage you every chance you get to go see buck i don't say that enough um but sometimes, you know, I know I was talking to some students and, well, sometimes they feel insecure about teaching. And I get that. You know, I was talking, Buck's going to be here at our place in a few weeks. And I don't know what I'd do if he, if he kind of came up and started watching me teach. I've never taught in front of him hard and I'm like yeah, maybe I don't want to do a clinic the week before um, he's here because man I just as soon hand the microphone over to him but I'm happy to share and break some things down that I learned with him or the things that I had trouble with but I encourage you all to share with others you, you learn it better when you share and we all got to start somewhere and the more you search and learn and the more you teach others, the more you help others, the more you can learn. And then the more you learn, the more you can help others. And you might want to make a bridle horse or something else. So don't die. Don't die of old age before you do, like, work on your dreams. But, but be cautious, you know. That's nice to find help. That's kind of why we do the clinic. Um, and Buck's the best out there. So if you get a chance to see him, I would go see him for sure. But in that, when you're sharing, if you feel insecure, you know, again, you have so much to offer, you don't even realize. But when you're sharing, it does leave a, a level of accountability on it so that people are going to judge you. Well, if they're judging you, at least you're on the radar. I remember when I started getting some bad press, I was like, well, at least they, at least they started to know me. And this is cool. She's starting to search around. So I'm starting to think about her bending. So when she bends and looks off, I think about her bending straight and that's bending to the right. Like that. Three, two, one, I'll release it. See? And I, when I think about her straightening, from bending right, it's easier to straighten. She'd rather be straight, maybe. I think about bending her to the left. I wouldn't pull too hard on my rein. She's not quite feeling. And if she looked to the, not that way. If she looked to the right, I'd say, no, not that way. But I don't want to do so much to pull her head around. See, I discourage there. I want just a little more, not straight. So I fix and release. Good. And I'm always seeing how little I can do. Well, she was obviously easier on that rein. As soon as I think that way, she's like, oh, I can do that way. See, that way is easy. But I want to think about her coming to her left. And again, I got a rein on here. But while I'm talking, since it set itself up, I can be working at that. So I'll keep going on. You have things to share to people. And when I multitask here, I'm still going to say no. Still going to say no. She's like, I'd like to look over there. How about you look over that way? Good, release. Not back over there. So that's good. You want to, not there. Just straight. Now, I don't care. I'm going to let go of that thought for a minute. Now, it doesn't matter where she goes. See her take a breath. Like, cool. Okay, you're a little more relaxed. But when she wants to do something, I want it working for me. So same thing. She's got to learn. I have a student here. 
I have a student here. So I'm learning, again, through my ride, because it's so easy to the right, I'm gonna work on the left, but it's good, because the last ride I was working on the right, she was pretty heavy on that side. So I'm working on a balance there, even when I'm just sitting here, I'm being aware, I'm a student. She's a student too, and we're both learning. And same thing when you're teaching other people, it will get you more aware of being aware of different things so that you can help others out. And you're not always gonna be right. None of us are. That man died 2,023 years ago. That's a nice change, good. And, but I do my best and I go on that journey. And I thank you guys for taking a little bit of the journey with me. I know it's a long, long-winded, but all that stuff's important. And when I reach for that horse, I want that horse to be soft, see? Good, and if, she's, if I release, I don't wanna have to be here to get her to back up. I want her to back up here, light, where she doesn't weigh anything. So I wanna take her to that place of lightness as I'm warming her up. Now when I get her soft and stop her, I'm gonna stop this right front leg a little early. She had to push a little and I firmed up a little more, but I might work on stopping this right front leg now and her setting it back. Good. Where when she pushes, I can direct that foot back. She might go ahead and push through. It's not about whether I stop that foot or not. It's somewhat about knowing when I stopped her so that she can feel back to me. Now, what I wanted to talk about a little bit, we talked about the other day, is I wanted to talk about it horseback. And when I go to move her hind quarters here, I might be here. See, and she stepped forward and moved her hind. I got ready to block with my rein. But if that didn't work, I might have to be plumb back here to get her to step over and drive more forward. She was plenty forward as it is, so that's okay. Now, I'd like to be when I open this up here to move the front. But if that didn't work, I might be clear up here to move the front, up in that shoulder. But I'm always trying to do less there. That hind came out, so we're gonna work on that just a little bit. Hind quarters, I want her to wait. Good, front quarters, I want her to reach out and back. She puts a little more weight on that hind end. Good, just to try. If she walks off, We'll step her back till she gets soft. We'll check her out. Is she gonna be soft to reach for? And she was. So what well, we found a little piece to work on, the weight. But I wanna, would like to work on that bending to the left a little more. Good, there's the hind, there's the front. So I don't wanna waste a bunch of time on this so that I can get back to this other side from when I started. You see there, she's a little light, up, heavy off my legs. So I work my legs, good, and she goes. Now I reach for her and she slowed down, but she didn't get soft, so I hang on until she gets soft. You don't wanna miss that. I wanna reward that softness. Soft through the transition, get her soft and prepare. She got a little heavier through my hand. I'll hold till she gets light again. I'll speed her up. I'm gonna work on just some soft feels here while I'm trotting her. Let her warm up just a little bit. Get her soft. She's not soft, she's flat, there. Okay. And I want her to hold soft and stop. Whoop, don't push. So I come back till she gets soft. There was a little release in there. Then I want her to get soft and come back. We'll try again. We'll get her soft a few times. We'll get her soft. We'll get her soft. Good, we'll stop. She put some effort in it and she didn't push on my hand. There, see, she's thinking left now a little more. She's thinking left a little more. See? Where I don't have to use my leg in the hand. I want one mind, one body. See if we can get her to think left again. A little more. Not right. That's right. Good. We'll go.
go right so we can go left. Now we want a little more left. If not, we'll let her work some more. Now, again, in that, when I come and go, I'd like her to find her way. See, she's a little braced on this left rein. I fixed release. I fixed release. I want her to hold her head there. I put her head there for a reason. She can keep walking. I don't want her to snap back and look at those dogs. I want her to stay to the left here, just a couple steps. But keep going. And if she won't go, we'll move her out. I gotta do a little more. We'll see if she listens to my leg again. Good. Get her soft. We'll slow her down. Now we'll think left. Left. As that left leg comes off the ground. Good. Didn't take so much. And I have this, if I wanted to go right, the first step that needed to go right is this right front foot here. So I try to time up as that foot's coming off the ground. But as I want to go a little lighter off this rein, I fix and release. Left, left. I want her to stay off that rein. Left, left. There, right. she stays a couple steps, then I'll go right. I won't stay right too much. That's a nice little try. Then I'll go left, left. See that foot step straight ahead? There, I wanted it to reach out to the left again and I might do a 180. So I have to turn a little extra on her bad side. Right, right. Little bit of help there. But I wanna focus, ah, oh, good. There's the left. She started to think left a little more. Good. So again, I want that, there, she worked lightness. That's a nice little, little change, if you will, from where we started so that I can go on my ride after the warm-up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, we'll check her out. Maybe, ah, oh, there we go. See, I needed, a, I needed to help my mind go that way. So I just picked like uh, a tree branch over there can't find it that's okay we'll help her like hey over there see I fix and release I don't drag her head over there I want to think left that's a try ever so subtle Let's see what that is okay now we think left I see a shovel over there not over there see I wouldn't do that because then I would reward the wrong thing so I just say no good not there there, we're trying. Good. I'm ready with this rain. Good. So those are some things that I work on when I'm not doing so much, just warming up, trying to get those feet light in my hands. I want that to be like butter all the time. Walk, trot, canter. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Happy trails. We'll catch you on the next one. Oh yeah, don't forget. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you would. Happy trails.